See? Told you watching all those lockpicking tutorials would come in handy. <laughs> hey, it's only breaking and entering if we get caught. And we won't. So? Stop worrying so much. I swear, you're such a worrywart. <laughs> Look, it's fine. We've both done our research. We both know what we're getting into, yeah? It may be our first time actually being in a place this haunted, but... We're not some dumb teenagers like in the movies who don't follow the rules and end up getting possessed and trying to murder someone or whatever. Exactly. We'll be fine. We'll just look around a little, try out the gadgets we got, boom, then we're out of here. I'll make sure nothing happens to you, alright? You got the camera, right? Perfect. We can start filming now and don't stop until I say so, alright? Awesome. Just think. Don and friends. Well, uh, friend. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll work on that later. Welcome, welcome, intrepid viewers. Today, me and my friend here will be looking around Golden Hope Asylum, a place supposedly so haunted that no one's ever made it out of here alive. <sighs> oh, calm down. We'll be fine. It's just rumors. Barely anyone has actually come up here. It's to grab people's attention and keep them invested, you know? Don't worry, we'll be fine. I'll edit this out later. <clears throat> it's been almost a century since the old asylum was abandoned, but the building remains as a reminder, just outside the nearby city. Urban legends say that when it was up and running, the locals called it Bloody Hope instead of Golden Hope. You know why? Because... They said that there was no bloody hope of getting out of here once you were committed. Because of the horrible neglect patients suffered. But also, because of one of the head nurses, named Mary. They nicknamed her Bloody Mary, because she'd torture patients to try and fix them. And she'd end up killing most of them. No one knows how she got away with it for so long. But she was eventually caught. But that's when she decided to take a bunch of patients and even a few doctors with her before she ended her own life. All in this building. Some say you can hear the screams of her victims echoing through the halls. Or Mary's eerie cackle. They say that she haunts the hallways every night. Looking for new patients to torture and kill. <laughs> oh, man, you should see the look on your face. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. You're very easily scared, I know that. Don't worry, it's not like we're staying the night or anything. We're just gonna walk around, do some exploring, see if the little gizmos we brought worked, and be on our way. Promise. Alrighty, let's get cracking then. first floor seemed pretty normal. There was some kind of creepy stuff down there, right? Like, that wasn't just me hearing that? Okay. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. The thermometer thing registered a couple weird cold spots, but overall, nothing like super crazy or scary, right? I swore I saw something there, though. No, I wasn't just trying to spook you. I swear. We can look back at the footage later. Uh, maybe we could try that EMF thing up here? Looks like a bunch of offices down this hallway. Wait. That office at the very end. Oh my god, that's hers. <laughs> that's Mary's office. <laughs> Wanna go in and look? I won't touch anything, I swear. Come on. You're no fun. <laughs> <coughs> God, it's musty in here. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. Looks normal enough. I kind of want to see what's in those drawers. Whoa. That... That's going off like a Christmas tree. Jesus. Did... You, you heard that, right? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know what? 
We've got some spooky shit on camera already. Uh, maybe... Maybe we should start heading out. Jeez, uh, you're right. It is getting colder. Like, a lot colder. That means... It means ghosts. Uh, let, let, let's head for the stairs. Uh, wait, wait, stop. You hear that? <laughs> Fuck that. Come on, let's pick up the pace. Down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. Uh, Jesus. You can hear those voices, right? Like, I'm I'm not going crazy? Oh, okay. Lovely. Let's get the fuck out. Uh, there's the door we came in. Just... What do you mean it won't open? I picked it like two hours ago. L look, if you're trying to get me back real quick before we leave... This is not the time. I'm sorry. Just open the door. You... You're serious. Okay. Okay. Um... Let me try? <clears throat> <clears throat> shit, shit, shit. That... that That's not good. Okay. Um... Maybe... Maybe we can find another way out. Surely there's got to be another exit. Come on. Come on, come on, let's look. S stay close, all right? <sighs> okay. Okay, calm down, Don. This is fine. You both are fine. Huh? That door. I hadn't noticed it before. Maybe. W what? I... I guess it looks like it leads to a basement, but... It... could be a way out? Aren't you... a little curious? Yeah, I... I wanted to get out a little bit ago, but... I don't know. I just... feel... drawn... to whatever's down there. C come on. It, it won't take long, I'm sure. Jeez, it reeks down here. <sighs> Whoa. That... It's gotta be old, but... Those dark stains... They've gotta be old blood stains, right? Jesus. These rooms. This main area down here. This... This has to be where Mary... Well... You know. You know... I, I... I don't feel this cold anymore. Maybe that's... A good thing? Wait... You're... You're still shivering. Why... Wait... Wait, wait, why... Why did I come down here? We need to go. We need to go right now. I can't move. I can't... I, I can't move. Why can't I move? No. No, no, no. Something is wrong. Something... I... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have made us come here. I shouldn't have made you come here. This is my fault. <laughs> to leave a message, but that don't really matter a bit when you're both dead. <laughs> well, sometimes a cure can be found after a couple doses of pain, but I'm afraid foolishness has no treatment. <laughs> you two sealed your fate the moment you set foot in this place. Particularly this one. You were cautious from the start, but this one... She was a bit too bold, too confident, 
But her body won't last much longer with me inhabiting it. <laughs> so I really should be quick about this. Oh, I assure you this isn't a joke. You're going to die tonight, little one. <laughs> the doors won't open. I've made sure of that. Running only prolongs your fate. Hiding. Oh, childish. But I suppose I'll indulge you. For now. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> used to make a lovely little song about me when I was alive. One, two, Mary's coming for you. Three, four, hide behind your door. Five, six, break your legs like sticks. It's already too late.